that's good news for him and any cataract sufferers out there for sure. All right, time now to get a check of your forecast and really the story is the weather. Take a look at this. Another tree going down from the storm that passed through late last night and is still moving its on its way through this morning. This is over at Seekonk High School just a few hours ago. Look at what a mess and the significant amount of damage there. I mean, Stephen, we're looking at widespread downed trees, downed yeah. power lines, still over 20,000 people, mm -hmm. Rhode Island Energy customers without power, and this is the whole reason why. Yeah, Erica, we've had severe storms track through late last night during the overnight hours. Now we're seeing very heavy rainfall tracking on through, and thankfully this stuff is not severe, but uh, it's still causing some problems on the roadways because when you factor in the debris from the storms that, you know, knock down those trees and branches, also with some additional potential flooding in spots, it just causes kind of a mess out on the roadways. So you want to take it slow this morning. Good news is the heaviest rainfall is now pushing east of us. We're looking at the uh, back edge of the rain entering uh, central Connecticut. Eventually it'll be out of here over the next few hours. I can wind the view so you can see that better. Again, look at the back edge in central Connecticut making its way eastward. And again, better weather expected for the day today. But right now in Lincoln, if you look closely here at some of the lights that you see in the uh, parking lot, if you look down at the bottom right hand side of your screen, you can see the rain coming down very heavy out there at times. So keep that in mind for the next couple of hours. But again, better weather on the way. Newport Harbor, I've been watching this camera all morning long, seeing some lightning strikes from time to time, not seeing anything out there right now. But again, rain still tracking through. Visibility lower in spots because of the rain and the storms tracking through. There's about three miles visibility in Providence to New Bedford, also down in Newport as well. And again, that's going to just kind of hinder things even more as you go out the door this morning. Temperatures upper 60s, lower 70s across the board. We'll be in the mid 80s, low to mid 80s later on this afternoon. So some very nice weather expected threat tracker pre dawn hours. We're keeping it elevated in that medium category just because again, debris on the roadways, some rainfall tracking through. But overall, Thursday's looking good and so is Friday with lower humidity returning later tonight and into tomorrow. So here's the weather setup cold front tracking its way through. This is what has sparked off all the showers, thunderstorms, the severe, severe weather we saw last night. That's the reason why behind it, much drier, uh, drier, less humid air coming our way for late tonight and into tomorrow. So we can time things out here. This is going to be during the morning hours. Here's 9 a.m. So notice the rain well offshore, clouds not falling uh, too far behind, looking at clearing skies mid to late morning. And by the afternoon, looking at lots of sunshine developing temperatures back into the 80s across the board. A little bit cooler, though, down at the coastline, thinking some upper 70s for the beaches. But overall, very quiet weather takes over later tonight into tomorrow. Look at the temperatures tomorrow morning. 50s, low humidity, very good sleeping weather. Open up those windows, give those ACs a break late tonight. And for your Friday temperatures, again, thinking upper 70s to near 80 in spots, but very nice during the afternoon hours. And again, the big story is that lack of humidity for our Friday. And then looking at quiet conditions for the first part of Saturday too. So this morning, cloudy, damp around 8 a.m. Any leftover showers ending, gradual clearing to sunshine for the rest of the day. Afternoon hours, if you want to go to the beach or out in the boat, things looking much more improved across our area. Low to mid 80s, and again, looking at warm, dry conditions expected for the second half of today. Here's that seven-day forecast for you. The weekend, not a total loss, but uh, Saturday looks to be the better day of the two. Late night showers arrive, and then we see some showers and storms with another frontal system coming through on Sunday and then staying seasonable for early next week with the dry conditions. And as always, that full seven day forecast can be found on our website at WPRI.com. Well, the devastating